I don't I don't care how many steroids a woman takes. She trying she's trying to participate in sporting events with with men. That's not gonna go good. Put me put me in the ring with the best fighting woman. I'll knock that bitch out too. <laughs> Hey man, cause it was a hey, it's a shame in the even in scriptures that uh, that woman dropped a rock on uh, on I can't remember who it was dropped a rock on his head, and then he told he told one of his fellow uh, armor, bearer. His armor bearer he told his armor bearer hey slay me so nobody says that I got killed by a woman because yeah. <laughs> that, that's a shameful thing. Hey, what what happened in the on the playground if a girl punched you in the face and you're crying? You got beat up by a girl? Oh! It's just, hey, hey man. This, there's a reason for that, man. Because women are the weaker, are, are the weaker vessel. It tells you that in the scriptures. Women are weak, man. That's why, that's why men are supposed to be the head of the house. Women, women don't know how to make those decisions for themselves, man. Women don't even want to make decisions for themselves. Women want men to, to make decisions for them. They just don't want to, they just don't want a, a cup. Bleeding over the head. You know, a weak ass, a weak ass dude that's, that's afraid to do it. Afraid to say it. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, Obadiah 1 and 14. Neither shouldest thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Neither shouldest thou have delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Hey, look, right there, man. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Hey, what does it tell you in the scriptures? It's a righteous thing to recompense trouble to those in trouble. Right? So really, you got these Edomites that believe in karma. You got the you got uh, Esau. You got Esau that believes in karma. But uh the script, when the scriptures talk about karma, hey, what goes around comes around. What you did, what you did to uh, the nation of Israel and to all these other nations, it's gonna come back around. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, no, that ain't right. What kind of God would do that? Let's say you can't fight violence with violence. You can't put out fire with fire. Satan, man. That's all right. Satan is just mad. It's all right. Yeah, he's just, he's just mad. He's just mad because because the spirit on brothers is, is is maturing. All right, because we're out here just we're out here just preaching the scriptures. Hey, look, we're not giving we're not giving Esau Edom a foot anymore. You know what I mean? You want to put us on the news? You ain't going to put nothing but straight edification on the news. All right? That's how it's going to go down. I'm going to just watch the camera over here. I'll still, I can still speak, but I'm going to just hold the camera. Uh, it shall be done unto thee. Yeah. Oh, man. So you got to think about it, man. Look at what, look at what, look what was the nation that Esau was doing to the, to the, to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Put them into slavery. So Esau's got to go into slavery, separating families away from each other. So your kids are going to be taken away and put into slavery on different plantations, different different service places. Uh, uh, the Gadites were almost brought to the point of extinction. So you're going to be getting slain rest left and right. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That's what it says right here in uh, Genesis. And it goes right along with it. This is Genesis 49. Genesis 49 and 19. It says, Get a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Yeah, so Gad got overcame by the North American cavalry, in which the, the, the U.S. cavalry, United States, and what's happened was what they created the Gatling gun in order to in order to kill masses of Gadites. But now what's gonna happen? Gad's gonna be killing masses of Edomites, man. Gad's gonna have a Gatling spiritual bow and arrow. This is Micah chapter four, verse 13. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron, and I will make thy hooves brass, and thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their game unto the Lord, yeah. and their substance unto the Lord from the whole earth. Yeah, man. So he says, 
says a rising thresh, man. All right, the 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 the, the, the wickedness of the world is pretty much at the point where the Lord's going to put in that sickle because it's harvest time, you know? It's time for the Lord to reap the, the benefits of all the work that He's put out, man. All the work that He's done, all right? Which, that's, that's pretty much everything that you see going on in the world today and everything that you've seen throughout history, if you look into history, it's pretty much, it's all the Lord's work, man. And everything has been a build-up to this point. When the nation of Israel gains the victory, overcomes the devil, which is a so-called white man, overcomes these different wicked nations, all right, that have put them into subjection, the dogs that have licked the, the sores, all right, and puts them into slavery, man. That's the fruits of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's labor, is that the Israelites are going to come back to being on top, and all these other nations are going to go into slavery. And then what? Nothing but service, man, all right? Nothing, that, hey. Just like this place was built up for free, that's like you got the you got this saying talking about lazy, you know, you got these so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're lazy. Well, look at what you did for the past 500 years. Put them into slavery, chase them, chase them with the sword, kill them. Hey, man, if Jake wants to be lazy, so be it, man. You had them working for free for 500 years. What the fuck were you doing for 500 years? You ain't working for shit. Even today, you still have Jake and Slavery doing everything for you, man. While you sit in a corporate office and just reap all the benefits, and you want to call Jake lazy? You get these comfortable office jobs, all right? You get these comfortable jobs where you just sit in a building crunching numbers while Jake is, is out in the field breaking their back, man. Hey, man, you so-called white people have so much to pay for, I don't know how you're going to pay for it, man. They got a saying in the world called, don't cash a check, don't, don't write a check that your ass can't cash. Yeah, and here it is, they want to build a wall, you know. Who's going to pick all your food? Who's going to, who's going to pick all the fruits? They're, they're, he's not going to do it. They're, they're going to be fucking sitting there like, it's too hot, it's too hot to work today, it's too cold to work today. Who's going to build the wall? Yeah. Who's going to build the wall? You Edomites aren't going to build a wall. Really, Trump, Trump is a bullshit artist, man. All that dude does is just talk, talk shit, man. He, and these other Edomites, these other Edomites are, are complaining about you building a wall, man. All right, but like it said, like it says in Obadiah, hey, what you that as thou hast done, it shall be done to you. Go ahead, keep going. For the, for the day of the Lord Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. The reward shall return upon thine own head, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yeah, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, and they shall be as though they had not been. Yeah, so all the heathen are going to drink continually, man. What's that, what's that cup? What's that drink that it's talking about, man? Slavery, man. It said you're going to drink and swallow down, and you're going to be as though you had never been. Meaning, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you nations to the point where where you gonna, you're going to you're going to feel like you're dead, man. All right, go ahead. This Isaiah 60 and 14: The sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow. <laughs> shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet, and they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas thou hast been forsaken and hated, so that no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings. Yeah, man, so so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are who this book is talking about, man, all right? How can the Israelites have slaves if everybody's going to be in the kingdom uh, under the salvation of the Lord? That doesn't make sense because slavery is in the Bible. The Lord constantly talks about how Israelites are going to have slaves. How can the Israelites have slaves if there's going to be no slaves in the kingdom? That don't make sense, man. Yeah, all right. I just said right here that he's going to make all these other nations come unto his building, kissing the soles of our feet, okay, in the kingdom. He said all nations, all them that afflicted us. Psalms 83 said that all the nations had, had a hand in our downfall. So they're all going to come worshiping us, man. 
If you worship somebody, that means whatever they command you to do, you're going to do it. Okay? If they worship you, that means that you're in a higher position than they are. Alright? It says that we're going to suck the milk of the Gentiles. All their resources. Everything that they have. Because certain plots of land have special uh, items. Certain items, certain resources grow in our, in our uh, created or developed, I should say, in certain plots of land. Like when you read the scriptures, uh, I believe in Genesis, like, the first couple of chapters of Genesis, it tells you that the land of Havala is a land that there, there is a hell of gold. And we're not going to go the scriptures as bad because I even looked at Havala and Edomites are still there today bulldozing and bringing up hella gold, bro. So that land is constantly, constantly developing gold. People like to say, oh, oh, well, uh, money, money, uh, doesn't grow on trees. The planet itself replenishes and brings forth minerals, man. Elements. It's infinite. Gold is, 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 uh, 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 uh produced by the planet, man. Okay, they call uh, the Aztecs called the uh, gold uh, tears of the sun. If something produces tears, that means I keep on crying. Okay, but the planet itself excretes gold. Esau's, Esau said that there's actually bacteria that is on the earth that poops gold. I, I was fascinated. I was like, man, and did Esau create that? No, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai did. Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is great, man. He actually has bacteria that you can't really see that poops gold. Well, there's a um. There was this dude. He was like a scientist dude. He said that he could create like a weather machine that would produce a vortex, and you put like uh, uh you put like water. It was like out of water and something else, and it would create gold, you know? So these different things, like elements, you look at the periodic table, you look at all these different elements, everything is elements. So you're just combining elements together, you can create gold out of the elements, you know? That's how, that's how the earth was formed. That's how gold and iron and silver, copper, so on and so forth was created, was through the elements. And if you have the power to manipulate the elements, you could create gold. You could be like Rumpel Steelskin, man. Just, just spinning, spinning wheels of gold, man. You know. But that's how. That's, hey, man. But in the kingdom of heaven, these other nations are gonna be are gonna be mining. <laughs> oh yeah. Just because that's a punishment, man. Yeah. Hey, Jake is gonna be able to make anything out of it. Make something out of nothing. But you, you other nations are still gonna have to be mining just because. You're gonna be slaves, man. This is gonna be your job. Yeah, yeah, like the brother was talking about bacteria. There's just bacteria also that eats uh, eats plastic. It, it, it just eats plastic and it, it, it disintegrates. So like like there's 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 like what, what the most high made man. It's like it's, it's crazy. It, it's like wow, it blows your mind.
There's nothing impossible. What he said in Psalm 22 or 6, he said, We are God's. Well, it's saying in the scriptures, my ways are higher than your ways. My ways are higher than your ways. This is Ecclesiastes 8 and 1. Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. God, and, you, and, and real soon, you're going to see the men of the Lord for what they are. Okay, it says, ye are the light of the world, and a city that is on a cliff cannot be hid. Simply paraphrasing. So wisdom causes the man's face to shine. People are going to come looking for the men of the Lord. Because they're going to be out here glowing them in this dark and forsaken world. Okay? In this dark ass world, man. People are going to be looking for answers. It tells you in Psalms 8. Uh, get that for me. I'm going to shut this. Uh, uh, Slug. Uh, it must be. It must be. It must be. 8 and 11? Uh, this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord Yahweh. God, so there's going to come a time when there's going to be a famine of hearing this word. And we're approaching that time because he too. YouTube is out. YouTube is out here trying to take down uh, conspiracy theory videos. And that's how a lot of brothers came into the truth, was watching conspiracy theories, man. Trying to seek answers of what's really going on. Okay? And, and YouTube is starting to do that. Now they're taking down, want to take down videos that contain so-called hate speech. Alright? Demonizing the brothers. Pretty soon they're going to strip all the videos of every Israelite group. Not just of the true ones, the chosen, okay, which can be found at Great Millstone and various other camps that preach under the doctrine of Yahweh Bashem Shai. okay? It says there's going to be a famine, not of food and water, although there is going to be a famine of food and water, but a famine of the most important thing in the earth, wisdom and knowledge, a famine of hearing the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And you know what? It's going to be such a famine of hearing the word that even the men of the Lord ain't going to be out here. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai will hide us from the wicked day that's coming, from the evil day that's coming, Samaki, from the day of his wrath. He will hide us from the people that are going to seek answers. Although you were scoffing at the word, didn't want to believe or take heed, it's going to come a time where you're going to be forced to believe. And by that time, it's going to be too late. You're going to come out here, where those guys at? That we said were wearing dresses. Those crazy guys with beards on their face. The most hateful people on earth. That we thought were ISIS honored. members. Okay? Those guys that you deem crazy. The guys that were out there with cardboard boxes, wearing uh, uh, shower curtains, like you motherfuckers like to say. All right? But then you're going to be forced to know that this is the truth, that there was a prophet amongst you. But you know what? We're going to be hit. The word is going to be taken from those that were never meant to receive it. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh, and shall not find it. And shall not what? And shall not find it. You ain't going to be able to find it, man. You guys are going to be roaming around like a chicken with your head cut off. Like a, like a, like a fat nigga. Excuse my French. They're looking for a bite to eat. A starving ass fat man. So starving. You're going to be looking for anything to eat. You shall not be like you, man. You're going to be typing up on the internet. Trying to find the word. Not finding it. Typing Bible, Bible, prophecy. All you gonna get is Jake's Crypto Dollar, okay? The great, the great Louis Farrakhan. Oh, <laughs>
<laughs> all these Edomite pastors, Dana White and all them. But you ain't gonna find them in the Lord's videos, man. Even if you got people out there that are saving uh, 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 terabytes, hard drives full of brothers' videos, they might go to plug it in or show somebody, and, and the Lord might have the spirit corrupt the file to where you don't even find it. That's why it's very important to get this word now, this wisdom. Wisdom now. Isaiah 33 and 6 says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Like the apostle to heart said, We are in the time of Matthew 25. Because Matthew 25 goes into the parable of the wise and foolish virgins. Men that have this truth that are enrolled in the spirit to prophesy, and men that are lukewarm. Uh, play, play with themselves, man. They don't got it. Alright? That's the time that we're in. Because people are going to be looking for answers, man. And the answers are out here on the street. Okay? So we're some grab with that one. I get that. Proverbs 1 and 20. Proverbs 1 and 20. Proverbs 1 and 20. Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. While he may be found. And how do you find the Lord by coming out here on the street? You, you find Yahweh when you hear these real men preaching his word. Okay? Seek him while he may be found. Because there's going to come a time where he ain't going to be found. There's going to come a time where the brothers ain't going to be out here. There's going to come a time where you ain't going to be able to access the internet. I was watching, uh, I was looking at Dabu 7, and he had posted uh, a video how Russia and China are creating different types of technology to cause a, a blackout, to cause a, a, a EMP, okay, to, to, to totally wipe out the power grid. And yeah, he saw his waste of jumping power grid back up. But he might say, okay, well, we got it back up with the internet. Something went wrong with the internet. Something went wrong with YouTube. Okay. Hey, if they do that, all all their all their electronic systems are gonna go out, man. And then what does it say? What is what does they have? What does they have on all these different uh, uh, systems? What do they have? They have the records of all these different jakes. Uh, 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 what do they call it? Uh, criminal records. You know what I mean? All these different things, social media, different tweets, all this stuff. If it all blacks out, what's Esau going to have? Nothing. Because it was to say is there's going to be a time when they're going to seek for the iniquity of Israel and they're not going to be able to find it. There's going to be there's going to be a time where Esau's not going to have shit to be able to, to to accuse Jacob, man. All their all their evidence is going to be the Lord. The Lord is just going to smooth, uh, uh, wash away the transgressions of, of the elect, man. It says, Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto Yahweh. And that's what we tell you, James, man. We tell you to seek the Lord, and then if you're iniquity, you should come back to him. Because it's going to come a time when you're a witch. You're going to keep. You're going to wish to keep to the prophets, man. That are out here preaching this word. You're going to say, oh, them guys were right. Because the scriptures tell you, in Amos, us like in Ezekiel, then shall they know that there was a prophet amongst them. When everything that you see, we were talking about, take place, man. Okay? Tell you, you're going to catch up because, because you don't want to repent. You want to continue being a, a homosexual, a lesbian. Continue being a drug dealer. Continue being a murderer. Okay? Well, uh, uh, I got more. Oh, uh, that's a lot. This says, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. Yeah, the Lord will have mercy on you if you do what's right. If you repent, come back to him. If you're a man that's not uh, readily able, apt to teach, then teach the word, and the Lord will forgive you. Now, if you're a woman, all you gotta do is respect your man and, and please your man. 
if you got children, all your children got to do is obey their parents. Okay? If you're a man that don't have the ability to come out here and teach the word, then have faith in what we're saying is the truth. And turn back to the heavenly Father who have mercy on you. He's a man bound by his word that cannot lie. Okay? If you're doing what's right, he's not going to kick you in the mouth. Okay? If you're doing what's right, he's not going to let Esau run through you. But if you know what's right and you continue to do wrong, he's going to let Esau run through you, man. And he's about to let Esau, Esau off his chain, man. As it tells you in Psalm 17 and 13, Esau is the Lord's sword. Okay? And which is going to use to hew certain of you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Hew you to pieces, man. There's Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom cried without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. That's where you find the wisdom. That's how you find the Lord. You seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, okay? And when you need understanding, you come to the men. They have the oil. They have the understanding. The wise virgins. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the openings of the gates, in the broad ways of all these cities. In the chief places of concourse, where you see a lot of commercial activity taking place. No, it's like... Where you see a lot of business. And that's what they are. That's what all the other things are. The fire of the Spirit publishing this word. Shall the end come? Okay? That's why you got all these countries pumping heads. Because the end is at the door. These nations are ready to start killing each other, man. Okay? This is the year of Karagma. Alright? Which is the chip. That's the last prophecy that we're waiting for in order for these missiles to be launched, man. Because, because. Revelation 14 and 9 tells you that these, the plagues of these people being uh, burnt alive for receiving the mark can't take place until they receive the mark. Go ahead, huh? There's Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed, followed them, like saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. If, if, if any man bow down and worship the beast in his image, which the beast is talking about NATO and the EU, Esau's power structure, the self-proclaimed white man's power structure. If you're willing to bow down to his system and receive his mark, hey, go ahead. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So you're going to be burnt alive. You're going to be burnt by these ICBMs, these nuclear missiles. The weapons of Yahweh by Shem Shai's indignation for receiving that mark, for receiving the chip, whether you believe it or not. Okay, the mark of the beast is a is a biometric chip, microchip, in which they want to put in your in your body. The word karab karabra means an incision. They want to put it into your flesh. Okay? They show you that, man, in, in all kinds of movies. Alright, there was a movie that just came out called uh, Replicas. It's with uh, Keanu Reeves. About how he wanted to clone his uh, his wife and children that died, his wife and his daughter that died in the car crash. And what has what that has to do with is Esau's beast technology, the chip. There's a lot of movies, man. That's the chip. Esau can do many miracles, man. He can clone, give people the vision back, allow allow uh, people to walk. Repair certain people's limbs, allow them to move. Alright, he's going to do many miracles in which he's going to deceive people to receive the mark of the beast. But that
that's why we're out here to proclaim the truth. 